Hello there and welcome to another Canva video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a search bar animation on Canva and how we can remove the green screen using Filmora. First, let's start by changing the background color to green. Go to Elements and search for the search bar element you'd like to be added to the background. Select the element and adjust its size. Once done, position it in the middle of the background and change the color to white. Now let's duplicate the page. If I go to the next page, let's add the text to the duplicated page. Drag it to the center of the search bar. Change the font to mode bold and type any sentence you would like. For now, I will type how to use Canva for beginners. Next, I will select the text and reduce its font size to 35. Also change the text color to white and duplicate the page again. Now that I've created the search bar, it's time to animate it. I'll go back to the first page, page 1. I'll select the search bar, move to animate and select the fade option. So let's reduce the speed of the animation and also the page timing to 0.4 seconds. So on the next page, we will select the text again, switch to animate and select the top right animation upon entering. Again, let's reduce the speed and leave the page duration at 5 seconds. On the last page, let's add the mouse cursor on top of the search bar. Go to the search box and look for any mouse cursor you would like. I'll pick this one. I'll change also the color to white, adjust its size and place it on top of the search icon. Again, I'll also animate the mouse cursor to pop in when entering. And reduce the page time into 1.5 seconds. So once done, let's also add the sound effect to the text. Move to audio. Search for the keyboard typing effects, select the effect you would like to feature to the text. I will select keyboard typing 3. If I go to the second duplicated page, I will add that sound effect at the beginning and at the end of that text. So now let's preview the video. I think it looks good. So once I have completed that, I think the video will be ready for export. Open Femora, import both the green screen and the video template into Femora. Now let's add the video template on the timeline and then the green screen on top of the video. Go to the green screen video and right click on it. Select the green screen option. So once the green screen option is selected, the video is somehow faded. So to remove that, let's put the offset to 5, tolerance to 50, edge thickness to 0, and the edge feather to 0. So now let's preview the video. 